Good evening from the Central Illinois Weather Network. I'm Larry Eastep. We do have additional tornado warnings to pass along now in that same area that we were talking about earlier over Garvin County, Oklahoma. They have now issued a tornado warning for that cell. Let's go straight to the Tulsa next rad from Storm Lab Pro and show you this particular cell we're talking about here. Um, actually, let's go to the Oklahoma City uh, radar uh, if we can and show you this particular cell here. Again, over Garvin County. This would be along I-35 uh, and just uh, approaching the Wynwood area at this time. This is the TVS signature we're getting here. Again, hail two and a quarter inches in uh, diameter. This is a very nasty storm. Let's put a path cast on this because I want to show you the areas uh, that are immediately uh, going to be impacted. Uh, this would be along this path here. Hickory, which sits about right there. Roth by 927 and Fitzhugh as this uh, storm continues to move toward the east. Movement on this particular storm again uh, has been uh, fairly consistent uh, this evening uh, with the movement at about uh, 35 miles an hour. So a new tornado warning for Garvin, Murray, and Pontotic County in Oklahoma uh, until 9.15 Central Time. Let's bring the text of this up because I want to look at this here. Radar and storm spotters were observing a tornado six miles southwest of Wynwood moving east-northeast at 35. Uh, this was at 8.37, so about 14 minutes ago. Uh, residents of Wynwood should, should seek shelter now. This tornado will also cross Interstate 35. We were showing you, let's go back over to that again, between mile markers 60 and 66, and it looks like it most likely is doing that right now. Uh, you can see a, a real interesting um, return here with this. I want to go over, I'm going to go to the Tulsa radar and move down here and look at this. Uh, we were seeing this here, and uh, let me show you this again uh, over on this image because I want to show you what we're uh, talking about here. Um, well, uh, let me try, there we go. Okay, we're getting this little um, uh, backward C uh, here, this kind of notch right over I-35. And that tells us we're getting some uh, uh, definite rotation, most likely at ground level here. And this would be right in the Wynwood area at the moment. We're seeing some purples. That generally is indicative of some very large hail. Let me get back in there um, on that cell as we uh, are again going to be looking at the Tulsa area as well here in just a moment. But first, let's get back in closer here on this cell because I want to really zoom in here and pinpoint this particular spot uh, with this uh, uh, tornadic signature. Again, this would show it just to the east of Wynwood. I'm thinking more right in the Wynwood area right now, but this whole area uh, here anywhere in uh, this warning area is is definitely going to be of, of a concern. We had a storm chaser report. Uh, this would have been about 13 minutes ago, four miles west of Wynwood, a multi vortex tornado on the ground, seven to ten minutes with power flashes and some tree damage of unknown extent. And that would have been right here, just to the west of Wynwood, right on I 35. Let's go back over to velocity again. I want to show you this here. Um, wow, we are seeing some really significant returns right over Wynwood uh, with this. Uh, let's see this other uh, storm report here. Uh, it was about 20 minutes ago. Amateur Radio reported a tornado with that. Again, this is a really nasty storm. Folks, from Paul's Valley to Stratford, down to Wynwood, you are in the path of a potentially deadly and uh, destructive tornado as that particular cell moves to the east in, again, two portions of uh, these counties until 9.15. Now we've got additional warnings to the north. Let's look at these. Uh, Creek and Okfusky counties until 9.30, a tornado warning in effect for you. This tornado warning for Creek County until 9 o'clock, and then just to the south of Tulsa, a whole mess of counties there, still under a tornado warning for about another uh, six minutes. I want to click on some details here on this warning and show you what uh, we're talking about here with this one. We'll get the information on that warning up on the screen here for you and show you uh, again what we're talking about with this particular storm and the basis for the warning. Uh, severe thunderstorm continued to indicate a storm capable of producing a tornado. So this is a radar indicated uh, tornado. But again, this one here, spotter confirmed now in the Wynwood area, this tornado warning in effect until 9.15 this evening. Uh, so a very serious situation there. Back to Storm Predator one more time. You can see this uh, storm, mess of storms here from uh, portions of south central Oklahoma up into northeastern Oklahoma, pretty much forming a pretty solid line here. Let's loop this and show you over the past um, couple of hours. Uh, not the tool I wanted. Let's try this here. Uh, loop that over the past couple of hours and Storm Predator shows that line kind of cohesively forming here. Individual supercells uh, kind of 
back building and uh, moving into this line. So now you've got a line that pretty well stretches the length of central and east, uh, um, northeast Oklahoma. Uh, and then you've got this area down here that's also got some severe thunderstorm warnings. Eventually all this is going to shift into the Ozarks. We're going to see additional development of heavy rain, flash flooding in those areas, and potential for tornadoes overnight. Uh, wider view one more time here we can show you this uh, PDS tornado watch in effect for about another hour until 10 p.m. central time this new watch uh, in effect until 2 a.m. central time and that would include areas just to the south of Branson through the Fort Smith area just to the west of Little Rock over northwestern Arkansas. We'll continue to keep you up to date here in the Central Illinois Weather Network Storm Tracking Center throughout the night as additional uh, warnings come in we'll try to bring you updates on those but a very serious situation for Garvin County, Oklahoma a tornado on the ground at this time.